That means I am about to get some very good news. You think? Yes. I heard that Dr. Ralph is back in Salem. And so I'm guessing the DA is here to see me or the commissioner. Maybe the mayor himself to tell me that I am about to be released. <laughs> Did you shoot Kate Demera? I crushed the yellow car. Well, what about your mother? Okay, no. My mother. You won't what about her? Your best. For starters, I know she's alive. Please go back to your seat. Hey, did you hear? No? What? Tell me. Eric found Nicole and Holly. What? I mean, are they okay? Yeah, yeah. Maggie said they're fine. They're, they're back in Salem. Safe and sound. That's incredible. I'm so happy. Eric's got to be over the moon. Uh, but Sarah... Yeah, she's probably having some uh, mixed feelings right about now. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Students, as well as kick some of my desks around for this. How did you find out? For two weeks. So it's true. Go to the office right now. Yes. I'm pregnant. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you to know. I didn't think you'd want to know. Why wouldn't I want to know you're pregnant with my baby? Because I'm cold. I don't want to come between you. She's the love of your life, and you, you have another chance to be with her and be a family with her and Holly. That's your dream. I would have never want to stand in the way of that. I see. You want to get that? Get what? Because I have to go to the police station, make a full statement on what Kristen Demera did to me. John, you must be here to thank me for my cooperation. I'm not here to thank you. I'm here to tell you to stay the hell away from my boy. Like my son was tested today. Mm -hmm. Just the thought of me going anywhere on the already makes you sick. I was going to say jealous. Nicole said she wanted to make sure that Holly was comfortable before we headed out. That sweet child has been through so much. <laughs> and so have you. Yeah, I thought I lost them forever. And now... <laughs> now you and Nicole are together. You're happy. I'm so happy for you. I 
am a little concerned about Sarah. So am I. Have you, have you spoken to her since you got back? No, not yet. I mean, she called earlier when I was still at the farmhouse. I told her I'd call her when I got back after I explained that I had found Nicole and Holly. And I told Nicole everything about Sarah. I didn't want us to have any secrets between each other. Well, I'm a big believer in honesty. Of course, in this situation, it can't be easy. No. Nicole, she's been very understanding. So is Sarah. I feel for you, honey. I, I know you really came to care for Sarah. How's Holly? Oh, um, she's, she's great. She was asking about Grandma Maggie, and I said we'd see her soon. But now she's going through all her books, trying to decide which one she wants to read with your mom first. <laughs> <laughs> I better get in there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. It is my absolute pleasure. I am so glad. It's your home where you belong. Thank you. Mom, call us if you need us. Of course I will. your time with my boy. Oh. I think you're just upset because I didn't mention where you rank among my conquests. Yeah, well, here's your wake-up call, woman. Brady wants nothing to do with you. You see, you used him, and you proved him how sick you are by masquerading as Nicole. To what? Just get him back into your bed. He doesn't want you. That he doesn't do anything for you except I am going to push this food off this probably place. disgust. If that's true, and you're so convinced that he is done with me, then why bother coming here? Anymore? 